Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to replace your existing thermostat with a smart thermostat like we've got here. So this is a Nest Generation 3 smart thermostat. We're going to show you how to install this smart thermostat, but this will work also for the Nest E thermostat, uh, the Nest Generation 2 thermostat, and actually a fair amount of other smart thermostats. So the very first thing before you get started on any of this installing a smart thermostat is you have to turn off the power to your existing HVAC system. So there are two ways to do that. You can either turn it off at your HVAC system, typically there's a light switch there, or you can turn it off at your circuit breaker. So we're gonna show you both ways to turn off your power to your existing thermostat. So what we've got here, this is the HVAC system. And on the side of this HVAC system, you can see there is a light switch that is on right here or off. Sometimes it's labeled, sometimes it's not, but uh, this light switch here controls the furnace and HVAC system. So this is how you would turn this off. Typically, these light switches are found right on the side of the HVAC system, or sometimes there's a light switch in the same closet or same room that turns this on or off. Now, the best way to test this to make sure that you've got it off is to turn your HVAC system on so that it's either blowing hot air or cold air, and then flip the switch. And when you flip the switch, you will be able to hear that system turn off, and you will know that you have turned off the HVAC system. The other option for turning off the power to your existing thermostat is to go to your electrical panel. So you're just going to open this up and typically on the inside of the electrical panel, there will be a label telling you what does what. So on this electrical panel, they did label it and we can see right there that number 12 is the furnace. So we will just go over to the electrical panel and look for the circuit breaker labeled number 12, which is this one right here and we would turn it off and that would cut the power off to the existing thermostat. Like I said, the easiest way to confirm that it's off is to make sure that you have your HVAC system running and then listen for it to go off when you flip this circuit breaker. Once you've done that, you are ready to get started installing your new smart thermostat. With the power off, we can now remove the existing thermostat. Now, these remove in a couple of different ways depending on the model. The first thing that I would typically do is open up the cover and see if there are any screws there. Next thing I would do is inspect around the upper edge, the side edges, and the bottom and see if there's any tabs that hold this on. If you see any screws, typically you want to remove them. On this one, I can see that on the side of the thermostat, it has some tabs and I can pry this off and it will now expose the cover to the existing thermostat. Now, take a minute right now and really focus on what you need to do. You should take a picture of the existing wiring on your existing thermostat before you go any further. I can't stress this enough. Taking a picture will let you know what wires go where on your existing thermostat so that if you have to go back to it, you will have no problems. It will also help you when you go to install your new Nest thermostat. So go ahead and take a picture now of your wiring. On your actual thermostat, what you'll see is there are labels typically by each one of these wires. So up here, there is a W, that is the white wire. Up here is an RC and an RH, and that is the power wire. Down here, we've got a G right here, and that is the green wire. And we have a blue wire, which is connected to Y. Now, for some of you, you will have a yellow wire connected to Y. Some will have a blue wire. What is really important is not so much the color of the wire, but the designation of that wire and what the letter designation is. Each one of those letters designates something different. The reason that the color may be different is that that day at the hardware store, whenever whoever was installing this installed it, they may have just had wire that either had blue in it or yellow in it or a number of colors that didn't match the typical numbering and coloring scheme for thermostat wires. We've got all kinds of videos that show you exactly what these wires mean, but if you take a picture and make sure that you note what these wires are, 
in terms of the letter designation, you should have no problems hooking up your new Nest. So for us, in a four-wire Nest thermostat configuration, we have W, which is white, for heat. We have R, which is red, for power. And we have green, which is G, for fan. And we have blue, which is Y, which is for our air conditioning. Now, what we can do is remove these wires. All I have to do is unscrew each one of the terminals that the wire is connected to. After that, I can gently pull these away. Now, remember, you want to have the power off for this. So, ensuring that the power is off, you don't have to worry about these wires if they touch. But if you didn't turn the power off for whatever reason, if you touch these wires, you run the risk of actually shorting them out and blowing the fuse in your furnace, which is not that big of a deal. You can replace the wiring or the fuse inside the furnace, but avoid that altogether just by turning off the power to your HVAC system. Now you can see there are two screw holes here. That is what is holding the existing thermostat on the wall. So all I do is remove those existing screws and now, once I remove these screws, I should be able to pull this off of the wall. Now is a good time, if you like this video so far, to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want to support us, click on any of the links below. We have a website, onehoursmarthome.com, that has all kinds of smart home tips, tips, and reviews. And you can also go ahead and click on any of the links below that have our courses on them that teach you how to automate your home or help you learn more about home improvement. So thanks for watching and we'll keep going here. Now that you've got these wires removed, the next thing that you need to do is install the Nest thermostat. So to do that, all we're gonna do is take our wires and slide them over the existing hole where those were. Inside the Nest package, you're gonna find this cover plate. You're going to find a couple of screws like so, and these are drywall screws which can go right into drywall. The other thing that you've got is the Nest base plate. So you don't have to install this if you want. You can install the base plate right on the wall. But the issue for me is that I've got too much of a hole here, it won't cover it up, and I would have to paint and patch, which you're more than happy to do, but you don't have to. That's why they've got these handy dandy cover plates. Now, if you've got a problem where you don't have a big enough base plate, there are other base plates on Amazon, which you can find, that are big enough to cover this hole and are larger sizes. So we'll put a link to those below. And that is actually one of the things that I first started making on Amazon. Now there's probably 20 people that uh, do that, but way back when, uh, I saw there was a need for this because Nest thermostats, uh, sometimes on brick walls and stuff like that, you really didn't have a cover plate that properly fit them. So just a side note there. Now you've got to get this base plate on top of the cover plate, and then you can screw these screws in. I like to get both of them started just to kind of hold it in place and then you can use a screwdriver or a drill to install these. Now, I know that it is quicker to use a drill, but I like to do it with a screwdriver just to show everybody that you don't need to have all kinds of tools to install a Nest thermostat. And sorry for my hands blocking the camera here, but it's a little bit hard to get good shot when you're this close so that you can see everything. So now one of the things before you tighten this all the way down is to check the level on the Nest thermostat. You can see the bubble there and I know that's pretty darn close to level. So I'm going to leave it as is. Now the next thing that we need to do is take our wires and put them in the appropriate holders for the wires or the appropriate terminals. So we know which wire goes where because we took that picture earlier. If you've got your picture, go ahead and open it up and refer to it. But we're gonna put the G wire in the G terminal. And the other thing, before you install these wires, sometimes it's a good idea to kind of shove the excess wire back in the wall so that you're not gonna have anything sticking up too much that won't let the nest seat properly. So now I'm going to put my G wire in here, the green wire, which is the fan control wire. And I'm going to install my white wire right here, the 
W wire. And that W wire controls my uh, heating. Now I'm going to install the blue wire, which is the Y wire, and that is my air conditioning. Now the last wire that I'm going to install is my RH wire, and that is the power wire, which is providing power to the thermostat. Now all I have to do is go ahead and put the thermostat back on top of this. You just click it on and it kind of holds itself in place there. Now all I need to do is go back to the furnace, turn on the power, and this thing is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have now completed the installation of a smart thermostat. From here on out, you can just follow the in-app instructions for your specific smart thermostat. We also have a longer video that will show you everything you need to know if you want help to continue through the setup process with your smart thermostat. Now for this smart thermostat, the Nest smart thermostat, the setup process is relatively easy. You just open up the app and it guides you through the instructions to connect this to your internet so that you can start using your Nest remotely, either via your phone or when you connect it to Alexa or Google Home or even Siri in some cases. And so thank you for watching. If you want to support us, go ahead and give us a thumbs up subscribe or you can click on any of the links below we also have courses that we are going to be offering and you can go ahead and sign up for those that teach you how to automate your home as well as a variety of home improvement projects and go ahead and check out one hour smart home while you're at it we appreciate you being here and thank you for watching we'll see you next time and